Hello everybody, my name is Patrick Outney and today I'm going to show you the game uh, of the day and this game is coming from the semi-final uh, FIDE World Cup 2021 White is Magnus Carlsen and Black is Jan Krzysztof Duda and this game is the decision game because it was played in tiebreak so if draw, uh, both players are going to play blitz games if anybody is winning that means that the winner is going to final and the loser is going to play for third place. So maybe for you it will be surprised that Magnus Carlsen as a white is losing this game and maybe for lots of chess fans is a surprise that Jan Christoph Duda is going over Magnus Carlsen to final and he will be playing against uh, Sergei Karyaki in the final of World Cup. At least uh, we could speak about new chess generation and Jan Christoph Duda should be the future of chess in next coming years. At least Magnus Carlsen didn't find any way, any any weapon how to beat uh, this young chess player. So let's speak about this position. Uh, right now doesn't look like French defense, but sooner or later, and I mean now, uh, this position looks like a French defense. And let's speak about French defense. I believe that here exactly in this position, um, White's biggest problem is his dark squares bishop. And I like to go anywhere to exchange uh, this bishop. It should be to g5 or d2, but up to me, it's a good idea to exchange this piece. Yes, of course, I understand that if um, white has advantage in space, he is not interesting to exchange a lot of pieces. And of course, for him, it's good to keep pieces on the board, but still, I don't believe that uh, this piece is the best piece. And maybe uh, this could be uh, big problems for white in the future, for example, in the end game. And up to me, I will do my best to exchange this piece immediately because um, dark squares pawns and dark squares bishop, they are not big friends. So bishop to b4 and right now, I don't see any reason. And now I will show variation why. Uh, white is not taking on b4, a3 and just go for open c file with a really small edge. Uh, why it will be first on open c file with a really small advantage. Maybe this advantage is not enough for win this game, but at least this is not uh, any danger to white and I don't see any risk why white should not play this position. A really simple position with a small and nice advantage, maybe stable. But Magnus Carlsen played bishop to f4 and he came out from this exchange and he believed that this bishop is good for him. So I don't understand exactly what this piece is doing on f4 and if you will stay here till end, you will see that this bishop will be losing piece for Magnus Carlsen and maybe I was right uh, in my opinion that it's good to exchange this piece. Okay, uh, short castle and queen to d3. Still, I think a not bad idea is to play move a3, sorry, and now maybe b4. But still, watch this pawn formation and uh, this pawn formation is not a really big friend to this uh, dark squares bishop. And this is a typical French position. And I believe that really good plan is to go somewhere and somehow to exchange dark squares bishop. Maybe like that still uh, white's got small problem uh, with this bishop but still i think he's absolutely okay he, yes of course uh, white played queen to d3 and this is not a bad move at all and a3 and now why white is playing g3 i don't understand you know white is doing something different he's he's uh, placing his uh, pawns all of them to dark squares and still he got a dark squares bishop so maybe he found it some some deviation why this bishop is okay and why this bishop is still a good piece and it's worth to keep this piece on the board i still i'm still surprised because i really don't like this piece and maybe it's up to you if you like it or you don't like it but up to me 
this is not a great position for this piece. Okay, what's happened? Knight to a5, b3, of course. It makes sense to not allow the black to go here, but b3 maybe is okay. But later on, move c3 or square c3 is a weak square. So why need to be careful not to lose open c file? Because if white will lose c file, plus his bad dark squares bishop, uh, why it should be worst and uh, it's not a really good or great position for a white of course it's still healthy it's still okay but i don't see any problem for black in this position and you know if white is looking to play this position for a win my question is how okay let's go on so yes uh, c file is nearly gone and uh, everything seems to be okay Maybe right now I will still play for this uh, dark squares um, bishops exchange. So say this variation: black will take, I will take. Of course, here is a checkmate. So need to be played move g6, and rook to b1 makes sense because this pawn is under attack twice. Yes, uh, still I think that black is okay because this open c file. It's really important and it belongs to black, sure. But you know, it's it's no reason to believe that white will lose this position if white is Magnus Carlsen, one of the best chess player ever, former world chess champion and chess legend. So black is solid. Black has maybe a little edge, but nothing special. Say h3 and rook to c7, b4 and maybe this position is a little bit worse but as i told you i don't believe that um, white should be worried okay uh, black uh, black is absolutely okay and uh, i don't understand why uh, why believe still for this bishop or maybe i should take this piece okay immediately uh, at least i don't have it i don't have it this maybe a little bit uh, Passive dark squares bishop. Okay, Magnus Carlsen believe in this bishop, and maybe he, this is uh, his biggest mistake at all this in this position. So a6. Okay, why not? Still, I think in the air was this option, and Magnus Carlsen know it. Maybe he was worried that he is going to change lots of pieces, or he was worried that mm, pressure coming from open c file is to him dangerous so maybe he believed that his dark square bishop is okay for defend important squares on c file say this bishop is doing good job because he's taking care about maybe two the most important squares in open c file and maybe for this reason magnus carlsen decides to keep this piece on the board but still i am not happy to play this position with this piece but i am not magnus carlsen so let's move on okay why not and knight to c6 uh, still i don't understand what is doing magnus carlsen here up to me is the best plan to go a really simple chess a simple for a simple open c file and say uh, this position is maybe okay. Yes, of course. A uh, little bit worry what I am doing with this dark squares bishop if all my opponents are sitting on dark squares, right? But at least uh, this open c file looks like okay for me and it's not coming any danger from this open c file. So say yes, uh, maybe white is a little bit worse, but a little bit nothing special. But yes, of course, I don't believe that white's got any advantage at all. What do you think? Okay, uh, let's check uh, this position. So Magnus Carlsen, it's not interesting to take care about open C file and he went to Rook E1. Why? I don't understand. And uh, black is going to offer this, this queen exchange. Up to me, I will take it. But, you know, it's not so simple to take this queen. Uh, at the first point, it looks like uh, black black get double pawn, and say if white is going to open a c file, and now is playing move h4 because it's important to um, to save this pawn. He's losing square c4, and this is the biggest problem of white. So a4, say take take, and. 
I think still that this position is okay. White's got any activity, but there is no hope when White should win this game. It's maybe still equal, but maybe Magnus Carlsen is looking for that and he believed that he should outplay his younger opponent later. So he decided to keep the queens on the board and he came back to b1 and now h4. Uh, still, I believe that still is not a bad idea to go for open c file, say by the same ideas, but yes, of course, this queen on a2 maybe is a little bit unpleasant. Uh, okay, it's not too dangerous, but it's unpleasant. Uh, black seems to be absolutely okay and white need to play good moves, but of course, we know that white is Magnus Carlsen and he is able to play. <laughs> chess without any mistake. So even this position should be for him okay. Let's come back and Magnus played move h4. Still he's placing his pawns to dark squares and remember this sentence because um, in next coming moves we will go to end game and exactly in the end game all dark squares uh, placed white's pawn and white's dark squares bishop this will be the losing problem or the biggest problem for the white so just think about the end game and think about the pawns and the bishops and this is the biggest danger to white in this position because of course black will not be checkmated white will not be checkmated but still this endgame should not be really pleasant. So maybe this is a good variation. So, okay, you want to change? And it change? Yes, of course, still, uh, I don't like at all white's position because white is a little bit passive. You know, two pieces, two heavy black pieces are much more stronger. And um, maybe just think about this endgame and don't think too long because this endgame is terrible hard for for white uh, maybe is lost uh, yes of course white managed to exchange his dark squares bishop but at the end he is in the lost end game the difference between white's activity say passivity and black's activity it's so huge and this is a bad end game not good example how to play good chess so let's come back and uh, yes uh, Rook to a2, okay, not bad, not great, and maybe still should go white to c1, b4, and uh, I don't think that this position is still great because, you know, all white pawns are still on the dark squares and maybe b4 or d4 are white weaknesses and Black is attacking these weaknesses, so it's up to White how he will defend this position, but I believe that even here uh, White is fighting for Joe, and Black is absolutely happy, and I'm sure that Magnus Carlsen still believe uh, that he could win this position, so he went a route to A1. Don't ask me why, because I don't see any, any checkmate. Yes, of course, maybe it's idea to go knight to g5, maybe black will take, he is going to open h-file and at the end he is a checkmate. Yes, but this is so simple and because uh, black is playing great chess, I don't believe that he will enter this variation. So black is okay to play move a4 and now of course he played h6 and he stopped all these threats and now he is asking white what is doing your rook on h1? This rook is absolutely terrible there. Just improve or do something and remember that I know that every endgame is bad for you because of this bad bishop. Hard job for white to play this position for white, uh, sorry for win, but maybe it's hard day for white to save this position. It's a really difficult job. Okay, bishop to e3 and knight to a7. What a great move this knight. Is it going to b5, c3, and e4? And this is a great plan, great piece improvement, and nice strategy. And um, this is the biggest white problem because it's hard to stop black to play this move. It's hard to stop black 
to play this plan. And you know, bishop to d2. And uh, maybe rook to c4. Okay, now the c file is, of course, open for black. Knight to b5, knight to c3, and say, well done to black. He managed to play his plan. Of course, this is only a variation, but I'm going to show you how this variation is danger, danger and unpleasant to write. And of course, just watch this position and ask yourself who is playing for win. And I don't believe that your answer will be white. So let's come back and this is only for your illustration how this position is difficult for white. So okay, why not? Okay, maybe black is playing the same position. Um, just waiting. Maybe it's good to go here. And I found it a really interesting variation. So maybe this position is funny because this is a draw. Um, black screen is a uh, nearly lost. So black need to go a2 and uh, c2 and maybe white is happy to accept a draw. If black is happy, I don't know. But Magnus Karasen still believe that his chances are not lower and he played move g4. Okay, he believed for attack, but I don't believe that uh, why there's any chance for attack. So bishop to b6, knight to c3, and knight to e4. Okay, now both players are going to change exchange few pieces. At the end, black don't mind because you know uh, still there is good dark squares bishop and bad white dark squares bishop and this end game is really bad for him and uh, with every new exchange uh, yes of course uh, white's problems are increasing and not good position at all black is too active and white is too passive so what to say uh, say well done to black because he played great chess and I don't think so that it was the best day of Magnus Carlsen chess life and maybe his game or this game was not the perfect one. Okay, d5 is the last hope and maybe now I don't see any reason why black should not take this pawn on a3 and now if he is going back to d3 probably black is still winning and without any difficulties this position is lost. Say, and this position is gone. We are speaking about the bishop's endgame and we were speaking about this endgame from the beginning of this video. And maybe now uh, White know that he should exchange dark squares bishop in the French defense position. So okay, uh, now I will go faster because um, maybe this position is not lost. And this position should be okay to play for many, many moves. Even this position is a nice draw. I found it, this position, like a draw. But, you know, it's a tie break. Both players are tired. And it's important to see that both players were playing the last five seconds. So uh, now it's not the room for to find the best moves. It's the room to find moves where both players should stay in the game and you know because um, white's position it's a little bit more difficult because of this pawn formation and uh, this bishop that means that black is absolutely okay and he's waiting for his chance okay black is playing for win or draw white should never ever win this position so white is playing for a draw or lost and in such of difficult pos uh, positions, in a uh, not huge amount of time, this position is asking for a mistake. And maybe the mistake has happened. I think that maybe the right move is to go to f5 and still this position is nearly won. But okay, uh, let's go on because uh, at the end Magnus Karasen is losing and it's not important why. Um, because everybody know that he lost 
because of this bad dark squares bishop and he missed a lot of chances to change him in the opening, in the middle game or even in the end game. So it was a typical game where bad bishop lost against good bishop and it was another good game where we have chance to see a new chess generation. They are young, strong and I'm sure that one of these players like Asipenko, Duda, Firuja one day will play the World Chess Championship match. Uh, just now Magnus Carlsen is losing against Duda. He will play for the third place and it will be interesting match. And Duda and Karakin they will play a final of the World Cup. So say well done to Duda, say well done to Magnus Carlsen and hope we will see interesting last two games of the FIDE World Cup 2021. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you like it, uh, press like and press follow and make my day. And if yes, thank you very much in advance. So see you tomorrow guys and I wish you a good day. Bye bye.